Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. We're here with War of the Spark constructed on MTG Arena. Today we're playing some tokens, some Jeskai tokens. So I found pretty much the identical list that we're playing today on Twitter. Um, looked really fun. You're basically trying to play a bunch of multicolor spells with Hero of the Precinct 1 to create a really wide board state and then overrun them with stuff like Heroic and Reinforcements and Sahili to gain value. Uh, so the only two creatures in our deck are Hero of Precinct 1, uh, which is a 2 mana 2-2 two -two that whenever you cast Multicolor you create a 1-1 one -one human, and Goblin Electromancer which just makes our instants and sorceries cost one less. Uh, we have Justice Strike as removal, uh, as well as Beacon Bolt, and Ral's Outburst that also serves as card draw. We have Dovin to create tokens and draw us cards. We have Sahili that creates us tokens. Uh, we have one of Invade the City, so this was the only variation I made. I wanted to test this card out, um, where you mass X, where X is the number of instants and sorceries in your graveyard. So you can just make a really big creature like this. Uh, Ionize is counters, so we cut one of these in place of the Invade the City. Uh, some heroic reinforcements, and then Discovery is card draw. And... Uh, Depose, deploy, deploy more for the life gain and creature tokens. Mana base is pretty much a three color mana base, tools and shocks. So let's get it going. Uh, we'll just play it. The original list was best of one, so we'll just try it out in some best of one leagues. Give it a shot. So as we get started, uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, I play everything from tier one list to jank to everything in between try to have as much fun between best of one and best of three. If you enjoy the content on the channel, uh, subscribing is a free and easy way to show your support. It goes a long way to helping out, so if you could, that'd be great. So we'll keep this hand. If we can untap with Hero, we're in a really good spot. Hero's pretty much the engine of the deck, so you want it in your opening hand. Red Horde Invasion. So opponent might be on some sort of a mass deck. Do need to eventually find some sort of removal spell because this will get really big. Dovin's also sweet. Um, so here... Here we'll probably... Let's cast Dovin. Make a Thopter. And just attacking for two. The quicker we could pressure our opponent's life total, this does put a clock on them. Alright, so here... Here I think we just take a setup turn. So they had the sabotage, so I got that out of the way. I want to just catch him with the heroic reinforcements. So let's just go another steam vents tapped. We'll poke in for one. So, that's seven. So that does give it lifelink, which makes it a little awkward. No blocks. It gets him back up to 19. Even with my insight, I didn't foresee this. Ooh, that's actually really good. So we can tap it down on combat. And then get a token and then heroic reinforcements. So here, we'll counter that. T 
tap that down, and then we should have enough with heroic reinforcements. Smash in, opponent gives us the GG. Oh, sweet. Even with them gaining 7 life, we still put them down to minus 8. So you see how, if we could go unchecked with the hero, how awesome it is. I, I'm I want to see how the games are where we don't get the hero up. That'll be a good test. The amass deck seems pretty all in on like that one threat. Like they did have an 8-8 life linker. Uh, I'll keep this hand because we have the Electromancer. Electromancer on two, Ralzos burst on three and four. And we're on the play, which makes it that much sweeter. Even the ionize is really nice there. So opponent has a scant uh We'll end the turn here. Want to be able to catch them. So here I think we just counter the Thought Erasure. That was a. Oh, that's awkward. We don't have the mana to do both. We're missing a red source, otherwise we could have reduced the cost on this. I'd rather hold up the Rouse outburst. So here we're forced into using this now. Uh, so here we'll take the hero. to ritual us set this way but I think it's the correct play. So the moment of craving. It's been seeing quite a bit of like Demir control. Oh it's Grixis. That hurts. Uh so here Attack in. Go with Dovin. Just have that enter tapped. This is like a where we see the matchup being a lot tougher. They have a bunch of removal, they get the hero off the board. See what they bounce with Dream Eater. That's fine. So we'll Rouse outburst. Attack in for one, and then I hope you don't mind if I enjoy this. I'm gonna fake that we have something with the shock this time. Opponent flips Escanta. 
Ari Conjecture. So they'll get back Moment of Craving. They tapped really odd there. So they can't actually use the Craving this turn, which is good for us. And we got Hero. This tech gimmick is worth it. So here I'm gonna just play out the hero, knowing that they have the moment of craving. I'll take the thought erasure, that's fine. It's a cast trigger anyways. Wonder if they're playing the fight with fire version. Okay, so they had the ritualist set, they got us there. I don't enjoy seeing things suffer, but I'll make an exception. So they've seen this, so we'll just play it out. They'll have the moment of craving for this. Doesn't do that much. They can refill their hand and draw eight cards. The Eldest are born, gets rid of Dovin. So falling pretty far behind. Probably bring back the Dream Eater, I would imagine. Oh, and they have Nico Bolas. Remake the multiverse in my image. So we'll exile the island. Witness a moat of my power. Gonna have to go after the Nickel Bolas here. Your efforts are pretty much dead. Interesting. They went you with the Dovin. Analyzed and found wanting. I think the Dream Eater would have been better. Been I outsmarted you eons ago. Just my, use it or lose it. It's two damage on the opponent. Opponent uses his Kanta. Syncopate at this part of the game is not going to do much. Doing me a favor. So I'm going to do this now. I got to attack in here. The reason I did it now is because they're more likely to syncopate there, and now they're eating I away at our lands. On the shoulders of giants. You are all so uh. generous. Interesting, the Nicol Bolas. Odd, uh, they're playing Chupacabras in the deck. Yeah, we got it. We lost this one. So the deck's weak to the removal. I think if you could play creatures with four converted mana costs, but seeing a lot of Grixis, and because they don't have a true sweeper, Ritual of Soot is what gets played, so as long as you're above that three converted mana cost, stuff like Phoenix won't get hit. Nicol Bolas being able to kind of indirectly go after lands hurts. Uh, this hand's a bit slower, but we have a draw. I like the cards in the hand, so we'll keep. So Healy's another good engine. Untap land would be great. So this is probably the feather deck. So 
So like red white aggro where they pump their creatures. I don't think they play fresh face recruit normally. Might be a new player. Boros mentor. No blocks. So, no attacks here. We'll block against one of them with Sahili, and then we can start going off. Tajik is good. So, you can only bring Sahili down to one. If they attack me, it's fine. Seems pretty aggressive. So let's discovery. Uh, don't think we want the land. And we'll just shock in. It's a little low on life, but we have this to gain some more life afterwards. When it deals damage to itself. Non-combat damage. Okay. So here... Let's tap down the flyer. Might be able to win on the backswing. So they get one mentor trigger. It's nine. So we, we need to double block the Tajik. I think we just do it like that. Keep our life total high now that these actually have text. Uh, so Justice Strike, take this down. Or just play this, gain a bunch of life. Probably just play that, gain a bunch of life. Okay, so we'll pass the turn. There is a play where we do attack in, so they can pump that up. So they attack into Sahili. Do we want to justice strike that? It's not the most mana efficient, but it protects our creatures. Healy being alive. I think we're okay there. Just block like that. Uh, is destruction your only art? Another fresh face. Okay, so another Sahili there. I think we just go with this this turn. Or we can rouse outburst. Just start killing stuff. See where they attack in. If they attack in at Sahili, be less inclined. 
Want to try to catch them on a heroic reinforcements turn? So here, we can keep blocking. I'll just take down one of these. Beacon bolt's good, we'll take that. We're at one, two, three, that'll be four. So Beacon Bolt will kill the mentor, the Boros Challenger. We can probably start getting in some attacks. Good play by the opponent. Give him that. Just start getting in for some damage. Probably gonna tap down the Boros Challenger this turn. Just to get another token, keep stuff alive. We're getting closer to the point where heroic reinforcements just lethal. Ooh. Invade the city is also pretty sweet. Mass is six right now. Okay, so what's a cool play we can do is we can have one of our tokens become a copy of hero. Okay, so this is a setup turn, and then we try to go for the win. So this becomes a copy of this. Some lessons for you all. We play Sahili. So we're one land short. We can beacon bolt the challenger. So you become a copy of you. I know how to stop you. Get rid of the Boros challenger, discard the land. Get rid of that. Just attack with all, they'll block one of these. This deck's pretty sweet. Like against non Grixis mono removal decks. It's fine, they'll get rid of Sahili here. But we just heroic reinforcements next turn. Wow. Don't think that's enough though. Innovation knows no bounds. I will return. So we'll play another hero. Heroic reinforcements. So they block there. They block there. More than enough damage. Sweet. This deck's awesome. We'll go for one more.
this hand here. We can Sahili. I'm gonna keep pretty much any hand with Sahili or Hero. Sahili makes this archetype a lot more consistent as well. And it's. A little discovery on two. Okay. I I'll take the land. Do I want the land? No, nah, we'll probably draw into another land between this another discovery. Burglar rat. Okay. Call me intrigued. This is probably this is probably the merchant list. Uh, merchant played a deck that was using the that black planeswalker uh, that basically acts like the rack. When if we don't have cards in our hand, it, it deals damage to us. So opponent will have thought erasures in the deck. They'll have Eldest Reborn, or maybe Eldest Reborn, but a uh, disinformation campaign. Take Rouse Outburst, most likely. Heroic's another interesting card to take. Okay, I'd rather have the Rouse Outburst anyways right now. We don't have a big enough board state. That wasn't very inventive. Um, just to keep our life total high and we want the second blue. Last turn. Just hit our opponent. Get the blocker. Want to keep Sahili alive? Uh, sure. We came here to play a hero deck. We're going to play a hero deck. We're weak to a... Okay, yeah, so it's the merchant deck. Discard that. So I'll play hero. Play discovery. Uh, I actually... Don't want either of these. Hero doesn't do anything on its own without cards in hand. And Sahili, they're not really pressuring us right now. If we can keep empty handed, we get around. Oh, that's bad. That was bad. Uh, here I will take the Electromancer. Copy Hero. Play Electromancer. Get some more tokens. It's a really cool interaction. So two, four, eight, nine, two turn clock. This is the problem with discard. Your cards are useless once we are empty handed.
just attack in. Uh, here, I don't want to use all my white mana. So this leaves us weaker to ritual. So they have ritual, so we're in a bad spot. Mind you, we have four power with the Sahili, that's six, so I think we have lethal either way. Uh, here, I'm gonna discard. Uh, they concede. Okay, so they didn't have an answer. That's a tough choice there. Because Sahili gives us more long game. Magistrate Scepter. So, 3 and 1 with the deck seems really sweet. Uh, definitely will be playing more of that, trying to fine tune it, especially for the Grixis matchup. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already on YouTube, make sure you do. And uh, if you have any suggestions for other decks you'd like to see, uh, drop a, a comment below. Thanks for watching.